Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We're going to be testing out the new firmware update which has been rolled out for the Canon EOS RP and the EOS R. Now this is version 1.4 I believe and it came out around about September. As a Canon owner I've been particularly excited about this firmware update because it has said to make the autofocus system on this camera here a lot better. Now, it will need to make it a lot better because currently the eye autofocus system on Canon cameras before the firmware update, that is, is really, really bad. And what I mean by that is you can only get it to lock onto the eye in about three meters distance. And a lot of time it loses actually the subject in focus, which is really not good if you want some reliable in focus and sharp images. Now, I'm also going to be testing this out uh, to see how it performs and to see if it's as good as Canon have made out. And also, I'm going to tell you if I think it's as good as the Sony uh, autofocus system because they use the eye autofocus system as well as Nikon and Fuji. So let's jump outside, get started and see if this baby is going to work. Okay, first up, let's check to see if we can keep a lock on the subject's eye at distance, walking all the way to the front of the camera. And as you can see, that nice eye point there stays on focus until he walks out of the frame. Then you can see it jumps straight back onto the eye as the subject's uh, awkwardly walking backwards. Now, this fence in the background is about 12 to 13 meters away, and you can see that it easily holds focus on the eye. Next up, we're gonna have a look to see if it can jump back onto the subject's eye after he turns his face from side to side. As you can see, first attempt straight on there and second attempt straight back on the eye. What about if he turns around though and jumps straight back on the eye? It's about a second delay. After the subject finished itching his leg, we're gonna get him to walk towards the camera. High burst rate. Walk towards it quite and quick. as you can see, it's a beautiful lock on the eye all the way to the front of the camera. Let's have a look if these photos are in focus. Every single one is sharp and in focus. This is a big improvement from the other update. Okay, last up, let's get the subject to move side to side and make it a bit more tricky. And go. As you can see, the eye autofocus point is staying on the eye of the subject all the way to the front of the camera. Let's check if okay. these are in focus as well. Every single image here is perfectly in focus and you can see it's done a really good job. So there you have it. That is the new firmware update for the Canon EOS R and the EOS RP. What do I think about the update itself? Well, actually, I think it's really, really good. They have improved the distance up to about 15 to 18 meters, I think we got it around about, and you can still keep a great lock on the eye of the subject. Now, also what's really improved is how you can actually keep the lock as the subject's moving around. This is definitely improved and most of the images that you saw were in focus. So this is really good and it's a great update from Canon. It's something I'm going to be using now for my portrait photography and wedding photography. I love this autofocus system. I loved it with Sony when I was using their cameras. So this is definitely something which I'm going to use now going forward in my portrait and wedding work. The big question is though, is it as good as Sony's autofocus system? And my personal opinion on this is it's not, but it's pretty close. It is really pretty close. Sony though, still currently, in my opinion, have the best eye autofocus system. And it's because of the speed that it locks onto the subject and how it holds that focus, you know, pretty much all the time. You can turn the subject around and soon as they turn back around and the eye is then visible again, on a Sony system, it locks straight onto the eye almost instantaneously. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video all on the firmware update for the Canon EOS R and the EOS RP. If you've updated to this firmware on your Canon camera, then please leave some comments below. Let me know what you think and if you think that it has improved that much at all. If this is your first time arriving on the channel, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe so that you can watch more videos in future. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure you have a good one 
and I'll see you in the next video.